Our house is 120 years old, so it's a little bit trickier to get the solar panels on because the roof is slayed, but it was possible in the end. And now our electricity bills are a lot lower and we can use electricity for a lot more. Hi, I'm Philippa Scholl. I live in Kew, just near Kew Junction, and we're in the process of electrifying our home. During COVID, I was doing quite a bit of reading and research about carbon footprints, and I realised there was so many different things you can do to get started, and starting to electrify our home was one of them. I decided I wanted to try out induction as a bit of an experiment. We haven't actually used our gas cooktop since we bought that one, so now it's really become a hot rack actually. When I started trying to work out how we could use less gas, I realised there's quite a few other things you can do. Last winter my husband sealed up a lot of the drafts. I heard you could borrow thermal cameras from libraries. While it was still cold we could see where all the heat was escaping from the house. We had an air conditioner at the back but it was an old one. If we replaced it with a new one it would be a lot more efficient, but also we could get one that heated as well. So we put as many solar panels onto our roof as would fit. Having seven kilowatts of capacity with the five kilowatt inverter means that we get more solar for longer during the day and when it's overcast. Going solar and electrifying our home is a great way we can contribute to climate.